Resistance bench is a really cool equipment because um, it's very light, so you can carry it anywhere with you if you go on for vacation on a trip. It takes very little space in the house. There is different types of resistance bands. So I guess um, everyone saw this is the most classic with the handles. It's very comfy because it has handles, so you don't need a um, really tight grab into it. Uh, this one, honestly, I don't really like, and I even don't know when I got this one. You, you still can do all the same stuff like with the one with handles, but it's just a little bit more challenging um, to hold it. Um, another type of resistance band is loop resistance band. Um, found it very useful. You can do it uh, many exercises, especially leg exercise with loop resistance band. So I started when I bought <coughs> uh, the rubber ones, but now recently I started using um, they actually sell from material. First of all, they can be a little harder. I mean, probably both of them have um, different resistance, harder and lighter, but this one doesn't slide. For example, if you put it around your thighs, rubber one sometimes uh, jump, slides off. This one is don't. Um, so you might need to use this today, but in a case, if you don't have loop resistance bands, you always can tighten your long ones or even this one, you can tighten it up. Okay, so first exercise, what we start is a squat and bicep curl. And one more, but I won't use it today. It's a long loop exercise, resistance band. Uh, also, there is a lot of exercise which you can do with this. You let me know if you do have this one, I can include some exercise. So, today is all resistance band exercise workout. Again, if you don't have resistance, but you use dumbbells. So squat and um, bicep curl, this will be our first exercise. I will set timer. Most will be for one minute. Okay, so our timer is go. And go and squat, come up and curl. This is exercise number one. So we don't have really a warm up today because Resistance bands normally we use as a warm up, and it is very very safe equipment. Almost impossible to hurt yourself. You still try to be careful. No sharp movements, especially with shoulders. Exhale up. For next exercise, we'll have to use sofa. So make sure that you locate it near sofa and that you have something to put under a towel or yoga mat. Hip trust with feet on sofa. Next exercise. And let me know if you can see me well. So put your feet on the sofa, slide with your glutes as close as you can. And just do simple hip thrust, hips up and down. Let me know if you see me well or you need me to change camera. Because today is a little bit different setup. Going to the sofa push-ups. If your sofa is too soft, you can use chair. Feet on the floor, arms on the sofa, and you're going to the push-ups. My sofa is too soft. Actually, I can use a quarter, but now it's going to be triceps more push-ups. But so as close as your arms towards each other, as more load comes for the triceps. For the away arms, it's more for chest.
and slide it too. So I don't kick my feet into the camera. After this exercise, we rest 45 seconds. All right, I will just probe my camera a little bit, point it more down. Okay, because a lot of exercise will be on the floor today. If you have any questions, let me know. And don't forget to drink water. Time a second of break. Good morning. And then we will go some active rest on the light cardio just for you to maintain heart rate for 30 seconds before we go again to resistance band exercise and 15 more seconds for other side. Prepare your long resistance bands. With long resistance band, we have pulls, lunge, and press. Step with your front leg on resistance band. Back behind to come down. Once you come up, you press up. We have 45 seconds for each side. Again, if you don't have resistance band, use dumbbell. Guys with the knee pain, replace every lunge exercise for squat. Or just do upper body in the case. Change into other side. I will stay sideways on this one. Going down, up and press. Upright row. Next exercise will be for shoulders. Uh, upright row. We are going for 45 seconds. Relax your forearms. Um, also, you can increase intensity if you want to make it harder. Step with both legs. Try don't pull with your neck or forearms. Okay, going for Romanian deadlifts with a resistance band, again, standing sideways to you. In this case, you want to make it tighter, maybe step with both legs. Um, so it's just slightly bending and extension movement with squeezing glutes up. When you go up, squeeze your shoulder blades. When you lean, bend only in your waist. And when you come up, push hips forward and squeeze. Inhale down and exhale up, don't round your back,
Let's prepare for the ab exercise on the floor. Okay, let's go back down to the mat. Going in our marches position with flat back on the floor, knees bent 90 degrees. And movement what occurs, you just extend one leg, bring together and extend other. We have timer for one minute, very important, don't arch your lower back. Just enjoy. Over back rows again with our long resistance band. Step with one leg in the front, make it a little shorter. Kind of like bend over lunge position and we do alternate back rows. I will stay face to you so you can see my arms better. Rise your arm one side and then other side. Now sideways. Try to pull with your back, not with your arms. So next we'll do the soft again. So now if you can slide resistance band around sofa uh, leg underneath. If you don't have sofa which can do that, we will do different variation of squats. So if you can round your resistance band around sofa. So we can do squats like this. And hopefully have heavy sofa so you actually can pull on it. If you don't, uh, you will be just standing on your resistance band, on your loop resistance band, and do squats like you did kind of like in the beginning, just standing. But if you have sofa and you're able to do that, just do squats with resistance band. Make it shorter. Challenging squeeze. My sofa is moving a little bit. Normally, if you have a friend, if you work out with a friend, you can ask your friend to sit on the sofa or put some heavy stuff of an top of it so it doesn't move. Okay, keep the same position and I want you to do, actually I'm going to push a little bit maybe with my leg so it doesn't move. I want to do roll for my upper back and back of the shoulders. Elbows pointing to the sides, slightly up. Don't tense your neck. Next we will go again on the hip thrust on the floor. With one leg up, modified position, a little harder. So that we did hip trap, but with one leg up.
Do you feel the burn? Woof. Change your leg. If you slide, go back as close as possible. Other side now. Squeeze glutes at the top. Alright, next exercise will be um, pull apart. You can take any resistance bands what you have, just make them shorter. Working for the back of the shoulder for prayer dead. Triceps and upper back involved too. Keep your arms in the front of you on the chest level. Pull apart, exhale when you push out. Make sure that you do control movement. Um, pull faster outside, slowly inside. Don't let your resistance band pull you fast inside to avoid injuries. Yeah. 45 seconds on this exercise. And then we go to do some abs. Abs, again going back on the floor. Um, We'll do full sit-ups for those who have lower back pain. Please don't do full sit-ups. Um, just do a little bit lifting chest up, a little bit shoulders up. For everyone else, you can put your feet under the sofa and just do crunches. One minute is on time. One minute break guys, one minute break. Uh, I see a question, good morning. Uh, well, I do online uh, Skype 30 minutes or one hour group of personal trainings. So if you want, you can go to the link in my bio in the Instagram and just subscribe. Go on the website and subscribe. So preparing yourself for the next back exercise. So if you have the resistance band which is on the floor, you can use that one. Or if you have a spare one, we will do this other. Seems like a previous exercise when we were doing uh, back rows, bent over. Actually this one we'll do with sofa again. But instead of pulling to the chest, we just elbows to the side. You will be pulling straight back and again you can push with your legs sofa make resistance bend tighter to make it harder and just drive back squeeze your shoulder blades one two three and pull for five we have this exercise for one minute Next, we'll go a third variation of the hip thrusts again on the floor. Um, if you have loop resistance band, put it around your thighs. 
we will work a little bit more for a glute, um, put feet on the sofa with uh, feet together on the edge. So what do you do? You bring knees up, feet, glutes up, knees outside, inside and down. If you don't have loop resistance, but it's okay, you can do it without it. Let's go to abs, so don't go too far. With your knees on the top of the sofa now. We do crunches for time. Don't pull with your neck, please. One more exercise and then we go mini um, water break. Dips. So it can be chair or can be sofa dips. Tricep dips. My sofa is kind of like too soft for this. So I will use chair. And you can use either straight legs, either bent knees for it. Okay. So keep your arms near your hips with palms facing forward. Bend down, inhale and press up, exhale. Good morning everyone who is joining. We're almost finishing today's sessions. As I promised, I will show some exercise what you have to do when you have lower back pain in the end. All right, and let's do one minute water break. Then we do one ab exercise with the last abs exercise, but you need a pillow for that or a book, some small object, not too heavy. And after this, we go on a cool down and stretching. Just repeat with me. So, press pillow to the legs. Raise your arms up, lower legs, and press back. Breathe deeply. Try don't arch lower back. All right, that was it. Now I slide up a little bit. I just want to show you one exercise for strength in lower back. So all exercises which uh, to prevent lower back pain, you need to strengthen your glutes, lower back and abs. So this is exercise specifically for lower back pain. Top five, the best exercise. I don't know if you can see, I have arch in my lower back, my glute stays on the floor. So exercise calls pelvic tilt. So what you want to do, you want just to press with your abdominal into the floor Press so tight that you cannot slide your arm, and then you want to arch it again. And press and arch. And we do 10 repetitions. This is our lower back pain exercise. You can do it as many times during a day as you want. Set of 10. We continue. 
Let's do three more. All right. Now we're gonna stretch into the abit. A little bit different stretch. Uh, continue on the floor. Bring one leg across me. Push your knee or pull with your arm. Look at the arm behind you. Twist and hold 10 seconds. Pull foot, which is a leg flat. Uh, pull foot on your one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Change inside. Okay. Now put one uh, leg near the knee. Slightly tilt your knee to the side, but feet should be flat on the floor. Pull toes on you, keep back straight. With a straight back, lean forward as much as you can and just hold 10 seconds and breathe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you should feel in your hamstrings, calves, and between shoulder blades, your back. Switch to other side. Don't forget to pull foot on you. Knee to the side. Lean and hold. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Butterfly. Try to push your knees as low to the floor as you can. Breathe deeply. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And finishing with standing upper body stretches. As normally, we stretch our shoulders, bring arms as high as you can. If you have a trouble with le uh, reaching with your arms very high, you can do it with a sofa or chair. Just stand on the knees, put your arms, and pull chest up. That's really good stretching for the shoulders. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stretching arms and back, reaching up, breathe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I won't see you before weekend, so how much fun on the weekend you need this much? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thank you again for joining. See you on Tuesday at 8 a.m. Let me know what uh, body part or what uh, equipment you want to use next time. And always waiting for your comments and advices.